In today's video, I am going to explain some pathophysiology of headache. First thing first, I want you to understand that headache is very complicated symptom. Many things can trigger headache. Now, I am not going to talk about the things like brain tumor, like uh, brain hemorrhage or brain contusions. These kind of things are for doctor's job. I am going to explain muscle tightness, peripheral nervous system and some membranous system. Let me explain about muscles first. Basically, muscles attached around head and cervical spines create headache. Let me explain a few muscles. This one is trapezius. Trapezius, this muscle attaches to scapula, occiput, cervical spines, and thoracic spines. This muscle can be tied very easily, such in modern world. Why? Because with smartphone, with tablet, we use a lot of electric devices. Now, our head can be brought to forward, that is head forward position. Head forward position tighten up trapezius. Then upper part of trapezius gets tight. Then what's gonna happen? That creates tightness here, then this can be trigger for headache. This is very important muscle. Next one is this one. This is sternocleid mastoid. Sternocleid mastoid. This is on lateral part of neck. It attaches to mastoid process. However, partially it attaches to occiput. This relationship is very important. I am going to explain relationship between trapezius and sternocleid mastoid later. So please remember that trapezius and sternocleid mastoid. These muscles are superficial layer on neck muscles. Let's go to the this side. This side is deep layer and kind of middle layer. There's muscle called splenius capitis. Actually, this is it. This is splenius capitis. Splenius capitis. This is also important muscle. It attaches to occiput. That is why it is splenius capitis. When this muscle gets tight that may pull head this way then what's gonna happen for around this area that can be trigger for headache very important then let me go to deep layer there are four muscles and deep part of neck particularly upper cervical spines and around occiput this yellow muscle group is called suboccipitans Suboccipitals or suboccipital muscles. These muscles are tiny muscles. That is why they cannot exert a lot of power like trapezius and sternocleid mastoid. However, because they are tiny muscles, they are important to maintain neck position and head position. Then what's gonna happen if somebody has tightness around here? Balance system is aggravated. That can trigger headache around here. Thus, basically, upper cervical region and occiput region is very important. Why is that? Because this place can be very tight because of using smartphone, tablet, look, looking on TV, then the office work things. This kind of thing can tighten up this area. Plus, upper cervical region can be damaged from head trauma, such as concussion, such as sports trauma, like, you know, you know rugby, martial arts, American football. This kind of trauma can tighten up this area. That is why this area headache is very, very common. All right, this is about muscle. Muscle for headache pathology. Now, let me explain peripheral nervous system. All right, next one is this one, I want to explain one nervous tissue. This is greater occipital nerve. This nerve emerges from C2 and it goes all 
all the way up to parietal area. This nerve is important for headache on posterior part, occiput area, and top part of head. That is parietal area, backside, and top part. Then look at its orientation. It's from posterior part of head, and it goes to all the way up to top part of head. Then look at this area. What is this? This is trapezius. Trapezius. And what is this? This is sternocleidomastoid. Hmm. Look at them. Greater occipital nerve kind of emerges in between trapezius and sternocleidomastoid. There is tiny space between these two muscles. Greater occipital nerve runs between this space. Oh my gosh. What happens if trapezius or sternocleidomastoid gets tight? What happens to this space? Maybe this space diminishes. Maybe this can get narrow. What's going to happen for greater occipital nerve? Greater occipital nerve may get impingement. Nervous tissue hates having impingement. Then that can create numbness or pain around here, around occiput area or maybe for parietal area. That is why trapezius, sternocleidomastoid, greater occipital nerve relationship is very important. And do you remember, upper cervical region, occipital area easily gets trauma from concussion, from martial arts trauma, from car accident. Many physical trauma create tightness or damage here. Then, no wonder people get headache around posterior part. Oh my gosh, very important region. This is greater occipital nerve. This is on, you know, superficial part. It's outside of head. Now let me explain inside part. All right, you are looking head and brain. I'm gonna talk about inside part of head. This is brain, of course. Then brain is covered by membrane like this. There are three layers in brain membrane. The outermost layer is called dura mater. Oh my gosh, I love dura mater because tightness of dura mater creates headache and even for neck pain. Why is that? Because dura mater covers the whole part of brain like this. Then there's continuation to cervical part, like this. There's one continuous structure like this. So if dura mater gets tight from whiplash or concussion, like heavy trauma on head, dura mater gets tight. Then let's say if this part gets tight, there is membranous tension for all the way to maybe posterior part, parietal part, frontal part, or maybe for cervical part. Let's imagine this is one continuous membrane. If one part gets tight, there's tension through all part of membrane. This is very important thing. Now, how can dura mater get tight? Maybe from a brain hemorrhage, maybe from brain tumor, but I'm not gonna talk about this kind of a medical surgery Thing. Like whiplash, like car accident, like martial arts trauma, athletic trauma, like American football. These kind of physical trauma can tighten up dura mater. Then treating around dura mater by manual therapy can relieve headache. However, again, headache is very complicated symptom. If somebody has brain tumor, hemorrhage, anything who needs medical procedure, go to doctor. That is obviously for doctor's job. But beside these kind of brain damage, like concussion, whiplash, car accident, you don't see anything on MRI, but somebody got headache, maybe that is our job. That is maybe manual therapy help headache. So in today's video, I explained about muscles like trapezius, sternocleidomastoid, splenius capitis, suboccipital muscles, nervous tissue like greater occipital nerve, then dura mater. Tightness of these things can create headache. Now, doing manual therapy around this area can treat headache. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button.
comment, and subscribe. See you next video.